Hey, it is uh, Wednesday here at Andy Mark. It's Pizza Wednesday, and I got a couple things um, for you. And then I'm gonna have our staff do more of this today because I have to go to a meeting downtown. But a couple things. We do have a winner for the non-engineering mentor recognition, Evan Freistack from 3147 uh, Munster Horsepower. Congratulations, FRC 3147, for your recognition of Evan. Your entry was awesome. We also had a couple finalists. We had Regal Eagles 2869 and Cybercars 1529 with good entries too. So those were our finalists, but congrats to 3147. We'll get you a gift certificate. Citrus Circuits dropped a really awesome video last night of uh, autonomous mode of them placing a gear and shooting a bunch of fuel into the high goal of the boiler. Check out the Citrus Circuits it's on Twitter, it's on YouTube, and uh, be inspired by their auto modes. Yeah, listen to these other, other Andy Mark folks, see what they have to say, and I will see you all on Friday. Thanks. A couple things to keep in mind at the end of build season. One of the big ones is definitely keeping track of your awards submissions. First award that's due tomorrow uh, would be the, the first Dean's List Award, as well as the Entrepreneurship Award. Both those submissions are due tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern and not 3.01 p.m., they're due at 3 p.m. Eastern. Three. Whoa. Whoa! Eastern, Eastern, Eastern. So now that you're reaching the end of build season, hopefully your robot's done now, right? <laughs> Even if it's not, now is the time to make spare parts for your robot. It would be wise for you to make spare parts for your robot before bag day so that if there's components, especially heavy components, that you're comfortable with leaving in the bag that you don't need to, to practice with. Maybe um, a big heavy piece of copper or um, some lighter sprockets for unknown things. Then if you could bag those, they don't actually count against your 30 pound withholding allowance, meaning you can use that withholding allowance to develop maybe new upgrades, you know, other assemblies or other things you need. Maybe something's not done, maybe a mechanism on your robot isn't done, that you could use that 30 pounds for a full mechanism, but spare non-COTS parts that you don't need between bag day and your competition, it might be wise to bag them. If your whole robot is all commercial off the shelf, unmodified components, those don't count towards your withholding. So you don't have to bag those if you don't want to. But as soon as you put two COTS parts together in an assembly, such as a motor and a gearbox, that's no longer a COTS assembly and that does count towards withholding. As I said, it's getting towards the end of the season and with competition season coming up, it's also a good time to think about bare commercial off the shelf components like motors, uh, COTS gearboxes, sprockets, gears, etc. And it's a, a good time to think about buying those when it's fresh in your mind, knowing exactly what parts you need, instead of scrambling right before competition season, having to pay, maybe pay extra for shipping because you need it right away. Ordering things ahead of time will save you a headache in the long run. And Andy Mark is proud to say that uh, on most weekdays, uh, we're actually able to fulfill orders that are placed before uh, 2 p.m. As in, we get an order placed before 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it will le usually leave our warehouse that same day. And that applies only to items that are in stock and not not assembled things like uh, Evo shifters, um, super shifters, sonic shifters, sword modules, nanotubes. Same day shipping. Wow, 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 um, we'll see you on Friday. Uh, we might go out to eat at our favorite place in Kokomo. And yes, you still are behind, but that's okay. You'll get there. Bag day's coming, but you'll get it figured out. See you guys on Friday. Hand trucks. Hmm. Eye bolts. Hmm, trash bags. Hmm, clocks. Height gauges. Everything.